Hi. Right, a, uh, a, a a pencil study. Line up. This will be a, um, a wet in wet watercolour, but just to show a simple house and maybe a bridge and a, a bit of a river. So a bit of, bit of perspective. A chimney and have have a roof coming down down here. some chimney pots on there and we can have the roof coming coming down here show some we've actually got a day worthy of the name summer or early summer we can uh, A bit, of a, bit of a an out building here. Just very simple because you're going to cover it with paint. And so that here you can you can extend that as as long as far as you want as a terrace. And we can put a put another chimney here over there. Something like that. A little bit heavy there, but it doesn't matter. So we'll uh, put a put, put a bit of a bridge and a and a road. Just a single span bridge over a stream. I'll use a bit of a rubber if I can find the rubber. Oops. Now, just to just to clean up a little bit in there, so you can see what I'm doing. Been out for the bike ride with the old man, well, my old mate, my old mate Ed, along the Wandle, and there's a new brewer called the Wimbledon Brewery near Collier's Woods Tube Station, underground station, and some. Some bank along here, something there, and put a door. Well, actually, you have to be careful where you put your doors because you, you're, the, the chimney will be coming down there. So we don't want a door in the fireplace, so we can put a put a door in in there, and maybe a window up there. Okay, it's all very simple, simple stuff. Let's just get down there and just get this bridge over here. Because here we can put some trees the other side, and then we can show the the reflection. Because we have the Trees going up from there, and the river coming down. Down this would this would be the reflection. We we'll put some grasses there, and we'll do a bit of corner keystone, and just a bit of right. Okay, I think we need to take that up a little bit higher. There it needs to be. High enough so if you imagine the feet going across with the hidden detail behind, you've got to have some 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 height on the on the bridge. And that just goes kind of along there. Then there's probably a road going along there. So all very very simple. And now what we can see is just that side that would be in shadow. And then that'll be shadow there and the reflection. Okay, so we'll uh, give the paper a wet. So, so we'll, do, we'll do the sky first, but I haven't cleaned my water pot from uh, I think the other day. I haven't really painted since 
last Saturday. We went away for the weekend. Long weekend. Got back yesterday. But uh, going out on the bike ride and coming across this lovely craft brewery. So if anybody lives nearby in Collierswood, go and have a look. They're very, very friendly. They gave us, my friend and I, a, 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 a good tour around their small, it's only a small brewery, craft brewery, but really, really good. And we do drink their beers. Uh, and our local Weatherspoon, which is a chain of pubs in Britain, um, they've been stocking the, some of the brewery beers and Weatherspoon is a great supporter, or Tim Martin owns Weatherspoon. There's about a thousand pubs in the UK. He's a great advocate of real proper beer um, and uh, surprise the Wimbledon brewery through some of the outlets, of the Weatherspoon outlets. And the managing director was very kind, he gave us a couple of beers each, which went in our saddle, on my saddlebag. I had one, an India Pale Ale was absolutely magnificent, so I said I'd give them a plug. So that's the Wimbledon Brewery, that's Collierswood, London, um, a marvellous microbrewery. Right, so we'll have a nice sunny day because that's what it is, got the palette upside down. So lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. So we'll get a bit of... No, we won't. We'll get a bit of yellow oak or more sienna, shall I say, into there. I think I squeezed this out from the tube yesterday, so it's a little bit, bit tube runny. Get that in there, and down there. Okay, I do my skies very simply. So it's just painting into the wet, wet paper and a bit of blue and a bit of alizarin. And there we go. So let's just put it around the clouds. Though there aren't any clouds today, it's a beautiful summery day, so put that all over. Get in the water, the reflection. And the reflection needs to be darker than the sky because when you're looking down, it's reflecting up high. So this bit needs to be quite blue. Why not this one? A nice dark. Okay, let's get that bit there. Right, okay, so I'll give that a bit of a dry with a hairdryer. I'll try to make this a really simple uh, painting. I'll just dry this off. Don't need really bone dry, but just enough so that the paint doesn't spread. I want to leave a fairly clean edge around the top of that bridge. I don't usually do bridges. I don't really do houses. I mainly stick to the, to the fauna, fauna and flora, flora and fauna. So we'll put in some distant trees using those colours. And I can superimpose over that with some warmer colours. Careful there. Okay, the same the other side. Careful there. Okay, so let's put in some nice sienna and some lemon yellow and a bit of Payne's grey. I'll get some some nice greens. Whoops, oh dear. Never mind, I've gone over the uh, over the house, but I'll uh, I can sort that out in a minute. 
Got some nice warm, some warms in there. And when I put in my colour for the uh, for the bridge, I can use a similar yellow to give a stone colour. My nice green coming in. And then we'll put in some good rich darks in there. So plenty of paints grey with a sienna. I'll lift out some branches and trunks from there. I do love my burnt sienna. These nice darks. Just use all, all the brush. So it's a two inch hake. It's such a versatile, useful brush. So we'll just flick out some of some of this while the paint paper's wet. I'll put a dark red over that when it's dry. The roof, let's get that. Now we want to put in some some underneath that. Banking. A bit of a bank here. I don't know where the river's going up there, but disappearing around the corner. I'm going to put in some reflection in, in this. Oh, it's okay. I'm making this up as I'm going along. I've, I've not done any practice or working from anything. I'm just Could use a, a round in there. Maybe I'll, I'll use this bigger for a nice dark bit of shadow. Gone a little bit too high, high with it, uh, low with it. That should be up there, really. But anyway, you get the idea. We'll just show more of that. Okay, and then we'll uh, bring that in there, get the dark. Show that shadow. Right, now go back with the hake and we'll put in some, some of the green. So a bit of, bit of, uh, Look at that, nice and warm, just over the top of that bridge. And put in some nice
nice darks. shadow down here over the reflection and I think we'll show some some rocks in there why not right let's just well that's wet we'll lift out with a, with a card Larger as you come to the edge, or to the front. I'll put a bit of dark refresh under them. I'll right, do the same over the other side. More light from from the uh, from there. But I don't want to colour clash there with the bridge, so we'll just. The brush is quite dry now. But we'll put in some some of the uh, those rocky notes. Let's get some dark. But you need dark to be able to do it. Otherwise, it won't show when you scrape off. Okay. Well, I meant to do that, didn't I? A bit late, really. I'll re-wet that. Right, let's put in some rocks here. I think I've overdone it over here, but... Okay, so there we are. Right, uh, I'm going to use, I'll do the house now. Uh, no, I'll just add to that because I want to etch out some of that, uh, some of those twigs and branches and things. So let's just re-wet it with a kind of a thick colour. A bit of water just to to wet it. Then we can uh, get the those branches back in it. I've got to do that. Okay, card. They all just adds to the illusion. And uh, let's get some nice dry brush effects if I can, if that's not too. It's more autumn than anything else, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Uh, right, the house. So I'll use uh, uh, the half inch flat for that, I think. Now that's where I've got to put cover that. That horrible green where I went a bit wrong there, so we'll just use light red there. See if we can just get that. Oh, we need stronger than that. A bit of sienna, I think. Burnt sienna. A bit of blue. So, pretend it's in shadow. A bit of shadow. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. And then a bit more in the light, so some, some nice weak sienna. Sorry if my head's in the way. I'm trying to keep my head out of it. Right, okay. Now, burnt umber. Great colour for stucco walls. Just roughly putting it in. Let it dry, it's going to dry quite quickly today. I'm going to have a bit of a darker colour over the other side. A bit of bin on this strip script because it's in dark and I'll, I'll add some windows to that. I'm trying to keep it very very simple and I want the dark on on that side there. And we'll put dark in there. Needs to be darker, a bit darker and redder maybe bricks. It's okay if you leave white margins. Just to separate things. And um, we'll have first a couple of Just like I said, put a bit of shadow under the eaves. And we'll, I put the roof, this is the tiles inside, a bit of overhang. A bit of shadow there. Okay, uh, that's straight there. Now, some some windows. Door. Leave some bit of sparkle here and there. And then talk across there. And I just drag. Okay, that's all we really need for that. Right now, the tricky bit is just uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll wet it. I'll leave a bit of a margin of white around the edge. So that's going to be a mixture of burnt umber and a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of Payne's grey. I'll clean that out with a dry brush later on. Put in some sienna. There's a Cotswold stone. And I'll detail that with some something or other. Lovely rich stone colour. Move into the shadow. Almost dry, so we'll just put in put in the, that stone there. The one that keeps the bridge up. We, we always see that from the see these things from the edge, but you never see what goes under the actual road. How that is uh, engineered. All right, let's see enough.
No great detail on any of this. Just a little goes a long way. Just a little bit of bit of dry brush. Just drag over, over that. A bit, bit of dry mm, really quick. some detail just to indicate you don't need to do portraits of anything just that'll do right now we'll uh, just see if we can clean out this just take that overpainting out there Okay, we'll just add a bit of detail under that bridge. I like to mix the burnt sienna with with my Payne's grey. Get that down there. a bit too heavy there, I should have gone further up with the water but it's going around the corner isn't it? Right okay so that's just about uh, just about it. It's a simple demonstration I can't think of anything else. Maybe a little bit of rigor work in the trees, just a little bit of, bit of dark, just a few branches, more twigs just Might have to do a bit of an amendment on, on that, just clean out some of that. Oh, I was going to put some uh, windows in there. Bit, bit childish, but, but hey, right. Uh, right, I'll put in some some foliage coming in across across there. I just overdid that a little bit. But all is not lost. Let's uh, get some some dark greeny stuff in here. I felt to dry a little bit. That, that is probably okay. Uh, right, I'm not going to put any of that reflex. I'll put a bit of the green, a bit of greeny stuff. Just to show a bit, bit of... bit of reflection. Right, I'm going to, going to let that go. That is... A demonstration of a house, a bridge, a sky and some trees. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'll give it a signature, I'll put a frame around it and we'll mount. And we'll see, see what it's like. Uh, right, okay, bear with me while I put that on there. 
probably all I'm going to do this afternoon. Uh, busy tomorrow, got a big carpet job in the morning. My wrists are killing me now. Uh, so I might not be fit for anything tomorrow afternoon. Whatever, well, it's a sort of a simple. Well, I've tried to keep it simple, and I've got a bit of a, a bit of wet there. Let's just dry that off. We could put a couple of birds in. In fact, oops, let's just bring that over there a little bit. I don't really know what to call this one. It doesn't exist, it's a pure fantasy. One of those fantasies. Let's just put a little couple of birds in. Okay, so there we are. Let's uh, bring the camera around. So there we are, that's just, just a simple, simple rural English scene. No figures, I could put some figures in I suppose. And maybe the bridge is a bit too big, well, I don't know. But I don't practice bridges. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're in Collierswood, go and look at the brewery. I'm giving them a plug because they gave us a couple of beers each. See you soon, bye bye.